Hi everyone, it's Trevor Lord from the Trevor Council and Associates. Is Trevor Lord from the Trevor Council and Associates, and I have decided to do a slideshow on basically what the TCA is. Now. Uh, the main thing to know is that the TCA is a Minecraft group. We are not really uh, anything else other than that. Uh, we are not going to expand to other games at this point, but we might if we uh, eventually get there. But our main goal is the Minecraft aspect of gaming and stuff. So anyway, let's move on, shall we? Alright, so basically I made this PowerPoint, it's not really exciting or anything, but I just wanted to talk about things and things like that. So, who are we? Well, we're obviously a Minecraft group, but we focus on having a better Minecraft experience for the normal players, for the best players, and for the, just any type of skills that anyone is. Um, and basically, we want to have better admins. Uh, we have been on different servers like Skyrim Craft and things like that, where the admins basically were not there to help us in our time of need. Uh, they wouldn't hear our side of the story, they they constantly would not help us on things like that, so we, we experience a lot of times with that, and we know that uh, other Minecraft players have experienced the same situation. So basically, we want to be a group of different people who have different talents and expertise at what they do for Minecraft, whether it is redstone, uh, fighting, uh, mining, even agriculture and herding and things like that. So um, we basically want to be more united when it comes to the Minecraft experience instead of being the individual and things like that. Uh, it's basically what we want to head towards because there's no such organization that uh, stands by such rules and uh, ideas and goals such as we do. So basically uh, we started by an idea. It was an idea that uh, FutureLink8 and I think Olvain uh, brought together. Um, I basically wasn't part of uh, the group in the beginning that uh, created this idea. But um, the idea was to create basically a group of Minecraft players who were going to play Minecraft uh, for a good amount of time and stuff. So uh, Chemical Death 14, uh, he created a server uh, that we called Chickencraft. It, it was uh, originally something really long and we just eventually shortened it to Chickencraft things like that. Um, I went ahead and titled the eight players we had on there the forefathers. They were basically the forefathers of our gaming. Uh, this is in the very beginning we had Olvain, Loose Conan, uh, Trumpet Lord, Zimbok, um, Chemical Death, uh, Crow King, and uh, I believe Future Link 8. I think I'm leaving out someone else. Uh, I think that was it at that point. Um, we basically created a uh, massive world. We introduced a uh, different type of, like, we were just goofing around on the server. Uh, we had uh, the Trumpet Mansion, which I created. Um, we had a Cake Tower, which uh, I think Chemical Death created. Um, basically, it was a big tower of cake. It was kind of funny. Um, we did a roller coaster, we did uh, arenas where we would fight these uh, things, and then we had a TARDIS, not the TARDISes we have today, but uh, things like that. And um, we introduced, uh, for some reason, we introduced um, uh, a jail. I don't know why we did a jail at that point, really didn't need a jail. Uh, but I guess we were having problems with uh, some uh, people and things like that, I don't know. Uh, basically, it was Olvain and Future. I give them the credit for the idea. Um, we started off with no organization. There wasn't really anything that you know organized the TCA. It was an idea at first. Uh, the the term Trumpet Council and Associates did not exist until later on, though. Um, we started with meetings. Meetings actually increased our uh, our goals and what we wanted to complete as an organization, and it actually helped us later on in the or uh, in the. Uh, foundation of the TCA. So basically, why are we called the Trumpet Council and Associates? Now, I know my username's Trumpet Word. No, I am not the reason 
why it's named after the word trumpet. Uh, the Trumpet Council and Associates was named after the Trumpet Council, which was the people who met inside a meeting room inside the Trumpet Mansion. And uh, basically, the character story of Trumpet Lord, basically he was um, pretty much a business guy. He had a lot of money and he had this mansion. Um, and then he died. Uh, this is, this is, uh, base. This is just a, a fictional story, but um, he he then gave everything to his son, who gave everything to this organization that they would later create, the TCA. So basically, the Trumpet Mansion is basically a sign of a new start, a new beginning, uh, to step away from the past when it comes to like. Uh, past mistakes, past things like that. It's basically just a nice little, you know, little background thing. That's why it was named the Trumpet Mansion, because it was basically a dedication to the group that we created. It wasn't really um, defined for the uh, the council yet, but um, we were probably going to be named something long, like uh, all our names combined together or something like that. And um, for some reason, we all wanted to be the Trumpet Council. And uh, this, I think, at this point, we uh, we uh, had meeting. Well, we had meetings in a in very secluded areas in the mansion. It was it was funny because it was like, I don't know where the meeting room is. Uh, <laughs> do warp meeting room, and we ended up going to this weird area where it was like secluded from basically the associates. If there was any associates, if there were any associates on the uh, server, it would be so secluded from them. And we later decided that hmm. Maybe we shouldn't do it like this, and so that's that's a, a funny thing. Um, okay, so then we became the legendary five. The council was decreased from eight to five because we had a little problem with uh, uh, some players who really weren't, you know, being a good player, weren't leading, and things like that. They weren't really focused on the idea, really. So um, we organized um, the council leaders. So. Uh, in the in the beginning, the colors did not represent the teams yet. Uh, we did not establish any teams yet till uh, Trumpet Council and Associates headquarters, uh, which is later on in the TCA. Um, we have, if you see the uh, the flag in the background, that is actually the uh, original flag that we had uh, above in Revolution Server. And notice that the green uh, portion of the flag was not lime. Uh, that there was no gray team at the moment. All right, so bad news for Chickencraft. Chickencraft lost in a m massive crash, so we ended up moving our server to Olvain's Revolution server, which was a new idea and a new server for us to play on. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it didn't start off as creative. It started off as a rev uh, survival server, and then we said, you know what? Uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to creative. So we did that. We went back to creative. Um, this is when we created the Trumpet Council and Associates Constitution, which basically defines what the Trumpet Council can and can't do, and what freedoms we give to the Associates, and what are we stand for, and what our mission is, and things like that. Basically, to prevent uh, becoming what we don't want uh, to happen in Minecraft, and things like that. Like bad admins, we don't want to be bad admins, we don't want to be a group that is, you know, constantly prideful in the council leaders or the individual player. We want to be more of a team than anything. Um, we put the meeting room in the end. Uh, I don't know why. I think I was too lazy to build a trumpet mansion at the time. And I was like, ugh. So it wasn't until later until, I, until we actually created the trumpet mansion. Um, we had an addition of a courtroom. And this would be uh, after uh, Clockwork uh, 200 came to the uh, TCA. Also, we did have a trumpet mansion at the time. I was working on it, and uh, well, uh, there's a funny little video I still haven't posted. I don't know why I haven't done it. Um, of the, uh, it was basically destroyed in a TNT accident where there was a TNT filling the walls of uh, someone's <clears throat> loose condom, um honorary room, uh, and in the inside of it where creepers and Olvain just hit a creeper after. 
I was just kidding with them. But it, long story. So we called it the Imperial Castle. Basically, we destroyed the bad admins. That was what we are symbolizing. We were making a new beginning and a new start for the TCA. So, welcome, Clockwork 200. Uh, basically, what we did at the time is we increased the council to six after a little scandal problem that we had in the council leaders. Yes, yes, there is such a thing. And, um... We had some voting problems, so we had a lot of ties and a lot of things we couldn't get settled out, so we made it six, so we could do a two out of three easily. So basically, uh, uh, that's what we did. Uh, we had the addition of the gray team. Now, originally, this is interesting, the gray color on the flag was light gray. At first, it was for, like, what, five seconds, probably. And then we changed it to dark gray because uh, Clockwork said, you know what, I don't like light, I want it dark. Okay, we'll do dark. And um, same thing with the um, green flag. Uh, Olvain wanted it to be lime because he wanted it to be more bright. So we did that. And we did mailboxes, which was a nice idea at the time until we realized there's actually an easier way to do this. It's called email and things like that. Or maybe in mail, in game mail, which is the best way to do it. And uh, basically, we made um, Clockwork 200 the uh, judge for the courtroom and things like that. So at this time, we did not have teams that were focused on jobs. We had the council leaders who were focused on different uh, jobs for the TCA. We weren't really organized when it came to the associates yet. Remember, this was the developing stages of the TCA. All right, so we're moving on. We played on Shotbow Network, which everyone knows is the, one of the best uh, servers out there on the Minecraft experience. Um, we went on an RPG server. Uh, we went on a server where we had an island map, and this is where... I created the TCA tower design, and for some reason I wanted to put the meeting room on the top because I couldn't make a trumpet mansion in the middle of the water and things like that. Um, we also got more people, which was good, and we entered into the world of Ticket and we went on to other servers. So basically we were moving on and becoming more public. Alright, so our success happened, yes, on the infamous Z Gaming, which gave us 15 plus associates uh, to the Trump accounts and associates, but this is where it gets sad and so sad. The server had multiple problems, which prevented the success of maintaining these associates and things like that. And plus, remember the TCA was still in its beginning stages. The server had three resets, which means three maps, and we lost our first one, which was Underdark. Our second one, which was Lava Ridge, and the third one, which was TCA. And those were the names of the towns. We had pro uh, the server had problems with Townie, and we lost a lot of items, a lot of precious resources and stuff. Um, oh, this is also when we introduced the Vault system, which I started to do. Uh, basically, you know, in tech, you can have the organized uh, transport pipes, and uh, I basically did that. So all you would do is just uh, pop one in a chest and pull a lever and the resources would go to the correct chest and things like that and the vault room was only accessible to anyone in the town so things like that we also had pvp error errors where people could like kill us in our own town even though it was p no pvp so it was kind of stupid also we had no fighters during that time so uh, after complaining to the admin and being all evil not like trying to get uh, some basically some some individual rights because we didn't really have rights on the server and uh, basically the admins like I don't care if you leave and so the TCA left and believe it or not a few weeks later whole Z gaming failed to exist so anyway that was a very interesting moment but out of all those uh, associates the all those 15 plus associates uh, we still are in con we're in contact with them but they have not been replying back uh, but we have uh, maintained one uh, associate we got from Z Gaming, and that is BioKnife. Shout out to BioKnife. Yeah. Things like that. All right, so we moved on with the server. Uh, Revolution is no longer used because Olvain uh, couldn't uh, basically monitor anymore, or uh, make them, he got a new uh, modem, so he couldn't do it anymore. Uh, Chickencraft is basically reborn. Uh, Chemical Death made that possible for us, and uh, he named renamed it Wolfcraft. This is where Wolfcraft comes in. Uh, we had Hide and Seek. And then we had the... which Well, Hide and Seek was awesome because it, it, it um, used the Disguisecraft plugin, which made it possible for us to do awesome Hide and Seek games. I wish we could do another Hide and Seek game like that. 
but uh, it's hard to do on such a server as TC headquarters. Oh, we also did the Statue of Liberty. I made that. I don't. It looked ugly, but it was kind of nice. And then we introduced the TCA tower to the uh, actual server, things like that. Uh, at this time, we did make the flag uh, with these six colors, by the way. All right, so the TCA headquarters. Now, uh, basically, the trumpet, the trumpet mansion. The idea of it becomes real, and uh, basically, we created teams. Now, we said we need to get this done. We need to get the associates together. We need to uh, expand upon the TCA and things like that. And Bioknife comes back, and we're all like, "Oh my gosh, he's back!" And we uh, really enjoy having him once again. It uh, brings us the good memories of Z Gaming back things like that. Uh, the TCA channel reaches a hundred, more than a hundred videos, which is a big, 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 big movement for us because uh, we started off uh, back in, I believe it was April, with the TCA channel, which is on YouTube. And then this was all done uh, by the black team, and so, which is the media team, and we got the uh, videos working, things like that. Also in the TCA headquarters, we introduced the Trumpet Tower, which will be the associates area to get information and things like that while in the game. Also, we did the Horse Arena. We also did other things like games, uh, Hide and Seek. We brought Hide and Seek to TCA headquarters. And uh, we did awesome, awesome things with that as well. Okay, moving on. Our future goals for the TCA is to get more hosting. Uh, basically, once we get the funding, once we get the money, things like that, because it's not cheap, it's definitely not cheap, um, we will get hosting, which means you can get on anytime you want to and become part of the TCA the easiest way possible. And we want to play on more public servers like HiveMC.eu, which is a new server I'm hosting, uh, which is Hide and Seek, uh, Splag, and uh, surf, uh, Trouble in Mineville, and other things like that. Basically, we need to get more support on YouTube, we need more subscribers, and things like that. Um, we need more help, and we need more people to join the TCA, and things like that. So, remember, uh, if you have any questions for the Trumpet Council and Associates, uh, feel free to contact us here on the YouTube channel, on our uh, website channel, and things like that. You'll find links inside the description below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do whatever makes you happy on all our videos because we need all the support we can get. Um, we want to get the Minecraft uh, idea, the TCA, uh, to everyone uh, so that we can become a popular group and uh, outstand all the others because we want to be the only group that wants to have a better Minecraft experience and wants to have better opportunities for the individual player. That's basically what we stand for. So, um, also one major uh, one major concern that uh, we have been getting frequently asked questions and things is why why such a name? You need to change it. And basically, changing our name would change who we are, and we do not want that. So the TCA is here to stay, and that is basically what we want to say to that. Things like that. In the beginning, PewDiePie, uh, basically, uh, his name, no one liked his name because it was weird. It was, it was just weird. And uh, But now he has over 13 million, I believe, 13 million subscribers. He's the most subscribed uh, YouTuber, things like that. And he's excellent at gaming and things like that. So it's not about the name. It's, it's never about the name. It's what they stand by. It's what they do and how they use that name to... Uh, carry on what their goals are and things like that. Um, basically I want to quickly summarize what the teams are. The green team is the fighters team which we recently created. Uh, it used to be uh, public relations, mining and things like that and we rearranged everything. Uh, so the green team is fighting, fighters guild. Uh, the white team is the builders guild. The blue team are the police slash uh, constitution people and things like that. Uh, they we're still trying to like strengthen that group. Uh, we think that's going to be on the next agenda. Uh, the red team is the Redstone group. And they are the researchers and the scientists of the group. Uh, the black team is the media group. They uh, make sure that we are uh, out there social social wise. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and things like that. Even our website. And the gray team recently became the mining uh, guild. So if you like mining, 
join the grade team shout out to grade team because we need more people in the grade team things like that so remember if you want to join the TCA look in the description below and there should be a link that says join or become an associate today and that's basically what we want to do and the term associate um, I don't know how it started but uh, associate is basically basically what an associate is it's basically you are part of our, our group you are the part of the TCA and things like that. Um, the ranking system, by the way, we do have a ranking system, but it's not that, it's not serious. I mean, we're all, we are all equal. Um, we have inductees, which aren't really part of the TCA yet, but they want to be. We have associates who are part of the TCA. Uh, we have honorary associates who have been with us since, like, a long time, and they, they get a better recognition than the others because they have more commitment, things like that. And then we have the council leaders. The council leaders are only six people, and they are the representatives of their team and things like that. So keep that in mind. TCA, uh, basically, is uh, going to become a very strong organization. We are a strong organization, and we hope to uh, get more supporters out there and things like that. So anyway, thank you for watching. Trumpet Lord here, part of the Trumpet Council and Associates, and the Council Leader for the Black Team. So anyway, uh, remember, do whatever makes you happy. Things like that. Thanks for watching.